And we're off Chem 110B sample final number three. We're going to balance an acidic solution, but this is the one where the H plus and the OH minus aren't shown where they go, but it's easy enough to do. We'll do it by the arrow method and by the half reaction method. Again, if you like the arrow method, just show that or look at that one. If you like the half reaction method, skip the arrow, go there, whatever way you want to do it. Okay, oxidation numbers plus two, minus two in an ionic compound that is monoatomic ions. Oxygen is minus two in a compound, that's minus six, so the nitrogen is a plus five. Monoatomic ion, element all by itself, minus two, so that has to be a plus two. Done. Draw arrows between things that are changing. Notice the zinc is not. The sulfur is changing. And the nitrogen is changing. Temporary balance of atoms. One sulfur per every one sulfur. One nitrogen per every one nitrogen. Okay. So we've got one times minus two, which is minus two. One times zero, which is zero. How do you get from minus two to zero? How do you get from negative up to positive? Minus two up to zero? You lose two electrons. And how do you get from plus five to plus two? From plus five to plus two, you're getting more negative by three. So that means you're gaining three electrons. We need the number of electrons lost and gained to be equal, so you find the least common multiple, which is six. In this case, losing six electrons, gaining six electrons, balance out. The three jumps to the end of this arrow and becomes that coefficient. The two jumps to the end of this arrow and becomes that coefficient. Okay, we're done with the oxidation numbers. What we are left with is three ZNSs plus two NO3 minus ones goes to ZN plus two, not sure. Not sure how many S's and not sure how many NOs. No charges on those. Okay, now we balance by inspection. Three zincs, that has to be a three, right? Three sulfurs, that has to be a three. Two nitrogens, so that's two nitrogens. Okay, good. So, what's next? Well, we have to balance the charge. We're going to use acidic solution, which means H pluses, right? Strong acid is HCl, so you know that acidic is H plus. So what's the charge right now? Charge on the left is minus 2. Charge on the right is plus 6. We're adding plus 1s. Remember, acidic solution means H plus to balance a charge and water to balance the oxygen in that order. Balancing those things. So, don't we need to add eight H pluses to get the total charge to be plus six? Sure we do. Okay, and then we want to balance the oxygen. Well, we've got six oxygen over here. And we've got two oxygens here, so we need to add four oxygens. That's by adding four waters. And if everything else works out, that's a total of eight hydrogens. Eight hydrogens, so it checks out. That's a balanced equation. You're going to have a hard time convincing me that the half-reaction method is quicker. I'm telling you that. I have trouble with it. I just think it's a lot faster doing the arrow method. But I need a little more room, so I'm going to half reaction method. Okay, let's go. What are my half reactions? 
Well, there's Z and S goes to uh, S plus Z and plus two, I guess. Sort of weird. And then over here we've got NO3 minus one going to NO. All right. So everything's a one-to-one -one ratio here. So thank goodness for that. And same with this. Now we add waters to balance the oxygens. Don't have to here because there's no oxygens. There's three O's over here. So we add two H2O's on this side. All right. Now we add H plus to balance the hydrogens. Again, there's none here. Over here we've got four hydrogens, so we add four H plus. Now we have to add electrons to balance the charge. This is zero, so we have to add two electrons, and we're even on charge. Over here, we're zero. This is plus four and a minus one, so we need to add three electrons. All right, so we're balanced in acidic solution. Now what? Well, now we have to multiply everything here by two. We have to multiply everything here by three to get the electrons on the product side and electrons on the reactant side to balance out. So that half reaction looks like this. Three ZNS goes to three sulfurs plus three zinc plus twos plus six electrons. And on this side we've got, let's see, eight H plus ones plus two NO3 minus ones plus six electrons goes to two NOs and two times two, which is four waters. Okay, we're going to add these up, but before we do, let's cancel out things that have to cancel out. That cancels with that because this is on the reactant side, this is on the product side, so they cancel each other out. And that's it. That's the only thing that cancels. So what's left? 8H plus plus 3CNS plus 2 nitrate ions on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, three sulfurs plus three zinc plus two plus two NOs plus four H2Os. Same thing. Gotta be. Okay. There's again the review that would help. Quiz 10 and quiz 11, chapter 12, exercises 12A through 12I. Have at it. Good luck.